Hello students, in this video we are discussing question number 14 of exercise 20.1. The question is, determine the analytic function whose real part is first one x cube minus 3x y square plus 3x square minus 3y square. Given the real part u equal to x cube minus 3x y square plus 3x square minus 3y square. We need to find the analytic function f of z. F of z we usually write u plus i v. u is given. So we need to find f of z. We know that f dash z is equal to u x plus i v x. We can write derivative of f of z is equal to u x plus i v x with respect to x. This we can write ux plus i. Since f is analytic, we are going to find an analytic function f. Since it satisfies CVR equation. Therefore, ux is equal to vy and uy is equal to minus vx. So, vx is equal to minus uy. Hence we get ux minus i u y. So f dash z is equal to ux minus i u y. We already have u here. We find u x with respect to x. Differentiate with u with respect to x. We get x cube with respect to x differentiate 3x square minus x derivative 1 3 y square plus 3 x square 3 into 2 x minus 0 and with respect to y u y x cube 0 minus minus 3 x into y square 2y minus 3x square 0 minus 3 into y square 2y. This is minus 6xy minus 6y and ux is equal to 3x square minus 3y square plus 6x. So we get ux and uy. And say right. F dash z is equal to. Ux. Minus i uy. We need to find f of z. We need to find analytic function f of z. So here we use. The famous Milne Thompson method. Milne Thompson method. In Milne Thompson method, we already write f dash z is equal to u x minus i u y. In Milne Thompson method, we replace replace x with z and y equal to 0. So, replace x is equal to z and y equal to 0. Then we find ux at z 0 and uy at z 0. So, x we replace x with z and y with 0. So, ux at z0 and uy at z0. Hence, f dash z equal to by Milne Thompson method ux at z0 minus i uy at z0. And the analytic function f of z equal to, which is, this is f dash z, we can, we want to find f of z. So, integrate 
with respect to z gives f of z. Integrate f dash z with respect to z. That is f of z is equal to integral of u x z z0 minus i into u y at z0 dz. This equation gives the analytic function f of z. So remember this equation f of z is equal to integral of ux at z0 minus i into ui at z0 dz. We substitute ux at z0 and ui at z0 then integrate with respect to z we get f of z. The analytic function f of z. So, find u x at z0. We have u, u x here. u x is this and u y is this. We find the u x at z0. That is x is equal to z and y equal to 0 in u x. x is equal to z gives 3 z square y equal to 0 is 0 plus 6 z and u y at z 0 equal to minus 6 z y equal to 0 means is equal to 0 and minus 6 0 means this is equal to 0 and we get f of z is equal to integral of u x at z 0 is 3z square plus 6z. 3z square plus 6z minus i into 0. dz. That is integral of 3z square plus 6z dz. Means 3 is constant. Put it outside z square integrate integration will be z cube by 3 means 3 z square is the derivative of z cube so itself z cube plus 6 into z integrate z square by 2 plus the constant of integration c that is z cube plus 6 by 2 3 z square plus c. z cube plus 3 z square plus c is the function f of z. Analytic function f of z whose real part is given by u is equal to x cube minus 3x y square plus 3x square minus 3y square. Second question is cos x cos hy. The real part is cos h, cos h, cos x, cos hy. We need to find the analytic function whose real part is cos x, cos hy. So, real part means u is given by cos x, cos hy. So, we need to find the function f of z is equal to u plus i v u is given by cos x cos hy. So, by Milne Thompson method Milne Thompson method we have f dash z sorry f of z is equal to integral of u x at z 0 minus i into u y at z 0 dz. So, u is given by cos x cos hy. So, ux is equal to in a differentiate with respect to x. Cos x derivative minus sin x. Cos hy is constant here. Uy derivative with respect to y. Cos x is constant. Cos hy derivative sin hy. And ux at z0. ux 
at z0. Replace x with z and y with 0. Minus sin z cos h0. Cos h0 is 1. And ui. Uy at z0. Replace x with z. Cos x gives cos z. Sin h0. Sin 0 is 0. Therefore, this is minus sin z and this is 0. The ref of z is equal to integral of ux at z0 is minus sin z and uy is 0. So, minus sin z dz. We know that minus sin z is the derivative of cos z. So, cos z plus c. Integral of minus sin z is cos z. Or we can take minus outside and integral of sin z is minus cos z. So, minus minus gives plus cos z plus the constant of integration c. Therefore, the analytic function is cos z whose real part is cos x cos hy. So, we use milner thomson method to find an analytic function whose real part is already given. So, if you have a real part of an analytic function, Use milner thomson method that is f of z is equal to integral of ux of z0 minus i uy at the z0 dz. Simply use this equation to find an analytic function whose real part is already given. We can use the same method to find an analytic function whose imaginary part is already given. We discuss the problem in the next video. Thank you.